How did you come to know this information? What happened was our local state representative, Aaron Pena, put out a, a tweet on his Twitter account uh, about an hour ago reporting that uh, one of the homicide investigators in Mexico had been decapitated. So I immediately called Zapata County Sheriff the Fredo Gonzalez Jr., and we met up in a parking lot about 20 minutes ago. I interviewed him, and he confirmed the information that one of the homicide investigators never came home last night. Uh, and his uh, head was delivered today in a suitcase to the Mexican military. Mm. Incidentally, this is the same investigator who released documents to us on Sunday evening about the investigation. And uh, I had talked to the Zapata County Sheriff last week here on CNN, and he had explained, as he had later in the week, that some of their worry uh, in simply investigating this story and going on the Mexican side was simply that they might be ambushed, fears of some of these drug cartels, as he explained. This is sort of uh, you know, a turf battle among uh, Zetas, a very uh, 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 horrific uh, drug cartel. So... I imagine some people this doesn't come as a surprise, the, the brutality of this. Unfortunately, no, it doesn't come as a surprise, because as we've been reporting here along the border for years, it's not unusual for uh, police officials in Mexico who go against the cartels to turn up dead. Uh, this man, uh, Mr. Uh, Viegas, was very courageous in bringing these documents to Channel 5 News. We, we broke the story here on the border over the weekend that two suspects have been named in the case, and, and this, this man provided us with their names and with the documented information about two of them uh, it appears that, that he may have paid for that with his life, unfortunately. Uh, and we're looking at pictures of this young couple, Tiffany and David Hartley. And just briefly, I don't know if you had a chance, uh, Will, to reach out to, to any of the family. Uh, what kind of reaction are you getting to this story there in Texas? Uh, and also, still, still no update on, on the location of his body, correct? That's correct. It's been 12 days uh, since this uh, attack on Falcon Lake, and there's still no sign of his body. Uh, the family met uh, with the Zapata County Sheriff in McAllen, Texas, uh, just a few hours ago. Uh, and though we weren't uh, with them at that meeting, we're told it was to update the family on the progress of the search for the body and the progress of the investigation. Uh, the law lawmakers and officials here who are in law enforcement are going on the record now saying they do not expect to find a body. This is the first time now that people are openly saying there's a very good chance mm. uh, David Hartley's body may not be in Falcon Lake. Perhaps uh, it was disposed of long ago, and this entire search uh, has been for nothing. That's something that we're, you know, that family's having to deal with that possibility. Mm. And now the news that this Mexican investigator's head is delivered in a suitcase. If you can just briefly, Will, speak to the violence uh, in this specific area, uh, both it's, it's this lake that straddles the Texas-Mexican border. For people who aren't familiar with this, give me the lay of the land. Well, we were talking about Falcon Lake. It, it's, a, it's a very large lake that, that shares uh, waters with the United States and Mexico. It straddles the border. Half of the waters of the U.S., half uh, is in Mexico. And there's really not a significant Border Patrol presence out there. There are some Border Patrol who are stationed there, but there's no uh, port of entry. And so and with such a large area of patrol, it's known as a haven for drug smuggling. And it's believed that the Zeta cartel actually controls the smuggling routes in this particular area where the attack uh, apparently happened, and that mm. the Zetas may have been involved in uh, the disappearance of David Hartley. That's what this homicide investigator uh, told us a couple days before his death.